Hello guys, in this video, I will explain the solution for the given question that is list the octal and hexadecimal numbers from 16 to 32. And using A and B for the last two digits, list the numbers from A to 28 in best one. The first part that is part A having list the octal and hexadecimal numbers from 16 to 32. Here the given numbers are 16 to 32 are decimal numbers. We have to write the octal numbers equivalent numbers and hexadecimal equivalent numbers for these decimal numbers. And the second part that is part B that is using A and B for the last two digits list the numbers from A to 28 in based column. Here the decimal numbers are A to 28. We have to write the equivalent numbers in based well number system. So that first we should prepare the different tables depending on the type of the number systems. The first table is decimal number system with the base R radix 10. Here base R radix 10 means the total decimal digits should be 10. That is starting from 0 up to 9 we have decimal digits 10. With these 0 to 9 we can write any number of decimal numbers. So the table represents the 0 to 9, 10 to 9, 20 to 29, 30 to 39 and so on. Now let us move to the second table. In this table, the first column represents the list of decimal numbers and the remaining columns represents equivalent octal values. For octal number system, the radix are base is 8. Now let us compare the decimal numbers and octal values. The base 8 means it should have the octal digits from 0 to 7 only. With these 0 to 7 octal digits, we can represent any decimal values. Now, for the first sequence of numbers from 0 to 7 in decimal number system, the octal number system also having 0 to 7. Now, from 8 to 15 of decimal numbers, the equivalent octal values are 10 to 17. The reason is, suppose if we want to convert this 8 decimal number into octal, we have to convert in this way. Here, this is the decimal number. We have to find the how many eights are there in this decimal number. So here it is subtracted with the one only one eight. Okay, eight minus eight into one, which is equal to the difference is zero. That means the value is zero and the carry should be one. So its equivalent value is one zero. This is octal number, equivalent octal number. In this way, we can find the any octal value for the given decimal sequence of the numbers. So 10 to 17, this is the second sequence in octal number system. Later, from 16 to 23, again after 17, it moves to 20. Okay, 20 to 27. Later, 24 to 31, it should start from 30 to 37. Later, 40 to 47. In this way, we can write any numbers using the octal number system. Okay, similarly, here this is a decimal to hexadecimal number system. Here, the hexadecimal number system base are radius is 16. That means the total hexadecimal digits should be 0 to 9 and A to F. With the help of these digits, we can write any decimal values. Now, let us prepare the different sequence of numbers for the decimal number system using hexadecimal values. Now, the first sequence of numbers are 0 to 15. 0 to 15 in decimal numbers are equivalent to 0 to 9. These are decimal values 10. And then from 10 to 15, we should replace with the A to F, the equivalent values of hexadecimal. Next, from 16 to 31, the values are after F, it should move to 10 because the reason is so decimal value 16 minus how many 16s are there in this hexadecimal in this decimal value so that 16 ones okay it should be subtracted by only 116 its remainder is 0 that means its value is 0 and 1 so the starting value for 16 the value for 16 is 10 okay in hexadecimal number system now let us continue to write the remaining numbers 10 to 19 then 1a to 1f Similarly, from 32 to 47, the starting number is 20, up to 29, and then 2a to 2f. In this way, we can write any decimal numbers with the help of the hexadecimal 
number system. Similarly, second part of the question is, this is based for number system. But according to the given question, for the last two digits, you should assign A and B. That is alphabetical letters. So that for 10 and 11, we should assign the A and B alphabetic letters. Based on this concept, we should prepare the list of decimal numbers in terms of based one number system. Now, the first sequence of numbers are 0 to 11. The total numbers should be 12. 12 to 23, the same process. 10, 10 to this is 19, letter 1A and 1B. Next 24 to 35, we should write it as 20 to 29 and 2A to 2B, 2A and 2B. So these are the way of writing the different types of number systems for the given decimal values. Now let us write the answer for the question. So here in the first part, the decimal values are from 16 to 32 only. For these decimal values, we have to write the octal equivalent and also hexadecimal equivalent. Okay. Now let us check the equivalent values of octal for the 16 to 32. Okay. So the starting number is 12, 16. So that the starting value is 20. From this 22, we should write up to 40 only. Okay. Because the starting value is 32. Up to 32 only we have to write. So that the answer I have written as 22. Here it is 27. After 27, it moves to 30, 32, 37 and then it moves to 40. This is uh, the answer for the first part, first bit. Okay. Next one is the equivalent values of hexadecimal for decimal values 16 to 32. For, from this third table, we can write the answer. From 16 to 32, that means 16 means its equivalent hexadecimal value is 10. So 10 to 19 and 1F. Okay. 10 to 19, then 1A to 1F. Next, for 32, for 32, its value is 20, first part okay, of the question. Next, for the third bit. Third bit is based well. Based well, the decimal values are 8 to 28. Okay, 8 to 28 means this is the based well number system. So, 8 to 28 means the starting number should be 8. So, that always the based well also starting from 8. Okay, it should continue until 28. The last number is 28. So, 20 here it is 24. Okay, the first number. This is 25. This is 26. This is 27. This is 28. Okay, the equivalent to based well numbers value is 24. So, that I have written up to 24 only. This is the answer for the second part of the question. Okay, in this way, you can solve any kind of questions based on the number systems. Thank you.